Today is the concert. Here is O.C. Van de Dyerich to interviewing the contestants. It's a glorious day in the land of birds. Musicians from all over the world are streaming in to participate in this fabulous contest organized under the benevolence of the wise and kind ruler of this land, the all gracious, all wonderful King Koo Tweet Toot Toot, Fro Tweet Toot Toot, Sweet Toot Toot Toot, or Amen, loved by all and affectionately called King Tweety Fruity by his loving subjects. Let us talk to a few of the participants who are now coming in and ask them their feelings on this momentous occasion. Ah, here's the lovely Luke Lu Lock Wings. Hi, Luke Lu Lock Wings. What are your thoughts on this momentous occasion? Are you nervous? Hi, I'm here for a lock, so no question of nervousness. <laughs> Ah, here's Patch Adam. Hey, Patch Adam, how come you're alone? Where's the rest of your team? I'm blowing my own trumpet this time. I guess he didn't realize what he just said. But look, who's here? The Barrel Band. Let's see what they have to say. Will you be playing a Scottish tune tonight? Not really, but this bag makes a fine bag to carry sundry items like beehives. See, the bees are inside and can't get out, but we can just tilt this and out comes the honey, which we need to restore ourselves in this growling contest. What an interesting invention! I'm sure their song will be just as interesting. I believe it's called Grin and Bear It. <laughs> I hope we won't be doing that through this song. Oh, look! It's the coach singer, Cuckoo Cool. Uh, let's get a few words of advice from her for the other contestants. Madam Cuckoo Cool, great to see you here. Any wise words for our contestants? Well, I wish them all the best. But it is survival of the fittest. And I'm feeling as fit as a fiddle. But at least the others will learn something from me so that they can try and rest the crown from me next year? <laughs> That's show business! More like show of business in her case. I tell you, it is almost time for King Koo Tweet Toot Toot, Fruit Tweet Toot Toot, Sweet Toot Toot Toot, Al Amen, alias King Tweety Fruity to arrive, but wait! We have time for one more interview. Here is the core band with the teacher, Monsieur Bulbaras. <laughs> ah, Monsieur Bulbaras, a few words from the leading singer from France. <laughs> what was that? I couldn't quite understand. I'm afraid I don't understand French. Yes, we have run out of time. Let us move inside the hall. I believe our beloved ruler, King Tweety Fruity, has also arrived. Because of you, we lost the job to be on screen. Now, with your inefficient ways, I can see that we are going to lose this job too. Why can't your father get you a job like picking fruit or something more suitable? 
He did. Then what happened? I kept eating the fruits we were plucking. We are almost there. I can see the lights of the venue where they are going to perform. How can you see? I thought you were blind like me. I am, but whenever there is an intense light as in the stadium below, my pupils react to the light. This leads me to think that my affliction is not incurable. Even though none of the doctors can find the nerve that was damaged. Well, you never know what can happen with these things. Though I wish I could find out what I am. This not knowing is driving me nuts. I don't know where I belong. With the birds or with the beasts. It's called an identity crisis. You will find out. Now, step on it. I have a feeling Melody needs us. can guess. I know. It must be December. <coughs> Confused as usual. Huh. All right. What is it you want, Magpie? It's a oh, cuckoo. Can you give the children your autograph? Stella, they are giving free ice creams in the lobby behind. <coughs> In a jiffy. <sighs> All right, give me the autograph books.
Stella, don't you ever leave without taking my permission? You are so bad for my image. Look at you. Get to Melody in time? As you can see, it never pays to be with selfish, greedy people. They will always get you in trouble. Let's go in. It's almost time for the show. Okay. Not a moment to be lost. This is the magic potion which will make Melody sing again. Quick Melody, gulp it down and then we have to fly to the hole. What about me, you man? You can take a cab. Now hurry, we have no time to waste on foolish chatter. Come on, Melody, drink up. <laughs> Let's be off. The concert has already started. <laughs> to choose the future court singer of the land of birds held at the behest of and with the benevolent eye of our beloved royal highness. So, without further delay, let's begin the show. Our first contestant is a well-known group from Africa, the Bouncing Baboons, with their lead singer, Bongo. They are going to perform a hit single from their latest album called I Am Going Ape Over You. <laughs> How appropriate! <laughs> How are you going, Ed? 
Melody and Mr. Jack Pawson are rushing to the venue so that Melody can take part in the contest. Will they make it in time? Banana Drama can't fly. But he wants to get to the concert hall to hear Melody sing. Here comes Mr. Sam Spread Eagle. What's the rush? The rush? The concert has started and Melody is rushing there to perform? So why are you rushing like a monkey gone bananas? Because I want to see her perform and bring glory to Jungle Land. Who's glory? I thought it was Melody to perform. There is so much confusion in your mind about everything. No wonder you can never do anything right. I can't do one thing right. I can give you a lift. And on the way, you can explain to me who's glory. <laughs> Listen, this is turning out to be a waste of time. Not a decent singer in this mortally lot. There is no melody, only rhythm. Where is Melody? I believe there is a singer named Melody, but she is indisposed. Uh, too much ice cream and cuckoo's party, it is rumored. I should have guessed Cuckoo would be behind it. As it is, I got a call from the royal family in Britain, a Prince Charles, that Cuckoo has been trying to get in touch with them regarding employment. She wants to sing for them. She is an artiste, sire. They will sing for their supper anywhere. Yes, but not at my expense. Where is she? Call her. Go and tell O.Z. Van to die rich too, that his highness would like to have a word with Cuckoo as soon as possible. And now, to perform for you is a group from Jungle Land, the core band. We are the girls The audience is in real pain and rushing to the exit. What? What is the meaning of this atrocious sound? Stop them immediately! No, no, sire. We can't do that. If you do that, 
you will become very unpopular. Press from all over the world is here. Here, use these to close your ears. That was quite a earful. And now, since we are going country wise, another zinger from Jungle Land Melody Hatchery. Oh, my poor Melody. <sighs> Melody Hatchery, this is the second call for Melody Hatchery. Did you say Melody? Oh, I heard Magpie. I'm so sorry. What with seven kids and me a single mom? They were making a final racket. And I thought I heard you say Magpie. When actually you were saying... Yes, yes, my good woman, we understand. Now, can you leave the stage and let us get on with our function? Oh, there is no need to be so uppity, Mrs. O.Z. Van to die rich too. We are all not married into the lap of luxury. <laughs> <laughs> Several times, in fact. I should know. She does the shopping for all her jewels and baubles in my store. I am a single mom and it's not easy making ends meet looking after seven kids. Contestant, I must fly. My children are alone. Oh, 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 what? What happened? Melody is here.
Bye, student. <laughs> the bird sure can sing. I think I need to start working on her visa right away. How do you assume she wants to come to your country? Uh, she's quite happy in Jungle Land. But everyone wants to come to the good old USA, don't they? Mr. Cranium, I think we need to draw a contract right away. I think we have found our code. If thing. your majesty will be a little patient, there is still Cuckoo Cool's challenge song. Oh, forget her. Who wants her and her tantrums and her constant whining in any case? We can't do that, sire. Protocol. It is time now for the challenge round. Coco Call, Vera Zing, and the judges will give marks to all the contestants. Followed by the audience vote. There is no need for that. I have decided to withdraw from the contest. Has she gone cuckoo? Let's see what she has to say. For a long time, I have been thinking of retiring and giving this crown to a worthy singer. And now I have found her. It is none other than my own daughter, Melody. Whoa. What? What is that woman saying? Melody is my daughter. Long ago, I left her in Marjorie Hatchery's nest as I had no time to look after her. Busy as I was with my career, she lies. Melody is my daughter. How can you say that Melody is your daughter? I only knew her as Melody. The moment her complete name was announced, I knew it was her. And then I saw you sitting there with, uh, uh, to that fuzzball. <coughs> Professor Martin Odious Drowsy Squeaky Squawky Piebaldy Jackass Funny Fuzzball Crutter PhD Professor Emeritus, if you please. Whatever. The moment I saw the two of you and the core band, I put two and two together and knew that the talented singer on stage is none other than my own daughter, Melody. Come, my child. Come and hug your true and only mom. So cuckoo, no more coat singer means no more mansions, no more fancy furs, no more wines and delights you're always singing about. Melody is going to be the new coat singer. She will be given citizenship of land of birds. Cuckoo, you may kindly vacate the mansion for Melody to move in right away. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I realize now I was happiest in 
studying the system of education here and it is not the way we teach in jungle it that is not possible once i have decided that she is going to be the goat singer there is no way she can leave this place and only her mother is allowed to stay with her the rest have to go but but i have four kids i can't leave them it is decided the discussion is closed Unless you want to be clapped in a dungeon. Guards, escort Melody Hatchery to the private chambers, where she will be held till the other members of her group leave the country. Melody, hold on to this. Best to accept what has happened gracefully, or you look like a fool. <laughs> ha ha! Looks like the matter is no longer in our hands. Bon voyage, Melody. <laughs> Cuckoo Cool will remain our court singer. Only till I get a better job. So you see, my dear man, uh, you're their kind. Uh, you've been needlessly worried. You are neither a bird nor a beast, uh, uh, but a mammal, uh, just like uh, uh, human beings are. It is a relief to know, but now I feel I don't belong anywhere. Neither with the beasts nor with the birds. Uh, 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 and human beings are scared of me. Uh, they think I suck blood. But I'm a fruit bat. I only eat fruits. If I were you, my good man, I wouldn't give a hoot. Uh, you can enjoy the facilities of all three clubs. <laughs> and maybe a visit to the dentist would dispel your reputation as a bloodsucker. And what is the topic of discussion? I know what I am finally. I'm a human being. I'm a guy. No, no. You are from the species of mammal of which humans are a part. I don't care. As long as I'm not a vampire. You are a fruit bat in any case. You only uh, suck the juice of fruits. Uh, I'm glad that has been cleared up finally. Now... If only we could find a way for me to regain my sight, then I would be able to see and hear Peekaboo's amazing tap dance. Oh. 
Perhaps I can help. Tell me what you were doing when you lost your sight. I remember the day so well. Can you hear the echo of millions of voices in every language and in every land rising up as one as humanity rejoices in a message everybody can understand can you feel the power of all those I can't see! I see. The electricity damaged one of the nerves in your brain? Again, there is a simple solution to it. It is like this. You have been wearing these dark glasses for so long, your eyes have forgotten to see. Your eyesight was probably restored in a couple of months, but you chose to remain blind by wearing these thick glasses. It is rightly said, there are none so blind as those who choose not to see. <laughs> uh, that's right! I told Bat Van Friday, the time we were flying over land of birds, that I can sense the light. Do not see the world through dark glasses or even rosy spectacles, and you will see light. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Martin. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, never mind. Just call me Eddie. <laughs> On everyone's request, Melody is going to give us a song.
Very good, very good. Since everyone seems to be in the mood of music, I would call upon the Coban to sing to a special number prepared by Moa. Gotta run. I have some early morning sales to catch. I must fly too. I have to lose these glasses. Come on, that fan fly back. Hey, Mimi Tang, catch me if you can. My feet are killing me. Oh, I better turn into. I have an early morning meditation session. Suffice, please. Good night. Thanks for a swinging time. Any time, Professor. Mm. You are quite a hoot in your own way. And mm. you are a swinging dude. Good night. <laughs> Come on, mm. Do Re, Mi Fa, Sola, Didu. Come mm. on, Melody. It's bedtime. Singing, 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 singing away, singing, 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 you can sing along and join in with us.